Hi, hello and welcome or welcome back. I suppose we are set for a slightly shorter and perhaps a slightly different type of video today. It's still a review, but you will see as we go through that it's not necessarily a review in the way that you might expect. Let's get right on into Mike Gale's All The Lonely People. If I remember rightly, I got this during the first COVID lockdown thinking that it would help pull me out of the absolute reading slump that 2020 had put me in. Apart from uni books, I think I read about 10 books for myself that year. And I do wonder if I had read this at the time, if this book would have been the one that changed it. Now, I only read one book during my time in lockdown. That sounded odd, but I only read one book during lockdown. It is Rachel Oates, but also Kyra the Staffy's dog book, Dog Lessons. It's a parody of Gabby, Han Gabby Hanna's first book. Apparently, I'm a bit tongue-tied today. But this is just such a beautifully written book that touches on a multitude of subjects that meant it was released at just the right time. But, as it is, it almost feels like I'm therefore reading this book in retrospect. Despite living with someone, I don't think I ever felt loneliness like that lockdown loneliness. I still don't understand people romanticising lockdowns. I do understand that freedom that it gave some people, the lack of responsibility, but at the end of the day, it was much more than that. I understand the idea that... understand the idea like I say that freedom from responsibilities where you just get to be at home and make that whipped coffee or um is it banana bread or all those sorts of things uh sourdough I think some people were making but at the end of the day there's a reason we were all in lockdown and I think my camera is slightly skewed uh you fell over as will be probably apparent given the shot looks different you're slipping again maybe while i'm out tomorrow i will try to find a better tripod made for phones because i got this one because it had the ring light on it because at the time it's slipping again. So I got this one because it has the ring light on it, but now I have strip lights over my bed. And I liked the ring light because I could do something like, I don't know, this. I could change the mood. I don't even know how well you'll be able to see me. I do have it up on full. You know, I could do that or this if i so chose and if i use the app on my phone if i set it before i start filming i can actually make it change colors in the way that i could with my tripod but i think i need something sturdier or i need to figure out why this one keeps slipping maybe i just need to make it grip more. I'm looking at it and I feel like it's slipping again. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. But the thing is, no, this isn't a book about lockdown. But like I said, this was a book that 
put me in mind of that time because of when I bought it, because of the issues raised. The two biggest issues spoken about are obviously loneliness, but also racism. Hubert Bird, our lead character, he's somebody that came from Jamaica to London in the late 50s, early 60s, if I recall correctly, off the top of my head, I just can't remember. And therefore, unsurprisingly, unfortunately unsurprisingly, he has had to deal with a lot of racism and the woman that he ends up marrying is a white woman therefore causing a lot of issues in general but specifically within her family now i'm never going to be able to understand that it's an aspect of the book that i can read i can have sympathy empathy why can i never remember which one's which i can empathize i think rather than sympathize and i don't know why i can never remember which one's which off the top of my head but i can feel for him i can wish that weren't the case but as it stands i am fortunate enough to never have to deal with that in my life but as it stands loneliness is something that is not isolated there is a cat coming in where are you going baby where is it it's a lily where are you going girl you want to come up i could pick you up but i don't think you want me to is your mother okay can i pick a baby up Okay, you appear to have picked up a to- Oh, she does not want to be held. Okay. Sometimes she's okay with being held. Others, she is not. Today, she's not. You have to- You okay? Go, you stink. Where have you been? No. <laughs> she's currently sat directly under my phone is that where you're staying okay but god knows loneliness isn't isolated maybe try to talk to your neighbors and i know that's daunting and i know that it sort of depends on the area where you live so if nothing else call someone close to you or maybe someone a bit more distant, you know, if there are friends you haven't spoken to in a long time, maybe try to catch up with them. If you don't feel like you talk to your grandparents enough, call them, maybe try and visit them, do something with that, because loneliness is a real killer, because there's sort of once you're in that space, it feels like there's nothing you can do about it, because you get really set in your ways with it. And no, I am aware this doesn't sound like a book review because I haven't, at the end of the day, really spoken about the book. But you get to see the way my mind has been swirling since reading it and maybe that gives you a good idea of how it sits in the mind, makes you think. Now, I often try to or at least with the books that I try to en I try to enjoy with the books that I enjoyed I try to recommend books that I found were similar I found this stylistically quite similar to a Matt Haig kind of book it's quite casual but still dealing with tough subjects with actual nuance because you can have a nuanced discussion while still being for a general audience and I think that certainly does this. No, I think this certainly does that. I also read Jodi Picoa's Book of Two Ways last year and yeah, I think I was in mind of that book as well. Just 
generally sort of it's slice of life with a kind of not over pushed message to it now in terms of actual review i will say there was one area where i wish we've been able to explore a bit more and that's with his son but i suppose it's kind of left as a nothing more could have been done it it's a tricky thing to talk about without having to put a spoiler warning and i don't really want to do spoilers for this book it's one that i really do recommend that you go out there and find for yourself and i do think that i will be looking for more of his work in the future if it's the sort of thing where i'm like i need something easy to read but not necessarily light and fluffy i want a bit of depth but i want something that i can get through pretty easy his will be somebody that i have in mind i hope you have a wonderful day a wonderful night a wonderful whenever you are watching this take care of yourselves feel free to like feel free to subscribe and feel free to comment down below somebody that you are grateful for within your own life that maybe keeps that loneliness at bay right